All right, well, I'm on my way to Sweet Air Reserve for my first trail run since kind of sometime in December. I went to uh, Grant Park and ran, like, and it was super muddy, and I felt like I was running in, like, wet sand. It was terrible. The uh, ground was just grabbing my feet and just holding me down. And That's the last time I did a trail run. I ran kind of twice since then. I ran, like, two weeks ago. I ran three miles. Felt really good. It was a road run. And then like a couple days ago, I ran like a mile and a half. Really just to get Obi out and get him some exercise. But uh, it's a really nice day out. I'm gonna wear my Nathan running vest the first time. So we'll see how this goes. Oh man, I'm at 2.7 miles. I am tired. I haven't trained this way in four months, at least. I've probably done one normal run since then. Oh man, I'm at 2.73 at 26 minutes. Oh, my legs hurt. I feel like I can't get enough breath. And I'm wearing this Nathan running vest. Hydration vest. It's the first time I've worn it. Keeps loosening. I'll have to keep tightening those or else it gets really loose. I don't know if that's normal or not. I feel like it shouldn't happen quite this easily. I don't know if I have some type of setting run or what. This works pretty well. But near the end so I'm gonna finish up strong. So I'm gonna do kind of a, I guess a running vlog. I already ran, but I know a lot of writers and philosophers and whatnot will exercise. They'll run, they'll lift, they'll do yoga or meditate or whatever. And then they'll write. They'll just write out their thoughts, what they're thinking about their day ahead, the day behind them, the days forward, current events. And I like that idea just getting it out there, feelings about things, because I sometimes forget how I feel about things. But the problem is I, I have terrible handwriting. And as a result of having terrible handwriting, uh, what well, kind of a side effect of it is that it really hurts my hand to write because I have terrible writing form. I was mashing my hand with the paper, so for three or four sentences, my hand hurts. I've, I've tried to work on that in the past, but it just doesn't work super well. So I figured I would just kind of record my thoughts after these workouts. And I'm on vacation this week, so I figured I would try and do a workout vlog like every day this week. I know I've said I want to do videos, you know, every day for a while. I started on my birthday and we made like three days. That was a while ago. But uh, I don't see why I can't do it this week. I have the time, I have the resources, and I have a GoPro, I have a nice cell phone. I've been thinking about getting a nice camera, but I don't know how much I'd really use a nice camera. So I figured if I can justify buying a nice camera by vlogging almost every day this week, or every day this week, then maybe I'll get a nice camera and I'll continue this. I don't know. It won't be an everyday thing, you know. A lot of the writings of these writers have some profound uh, thoughts about life, but they're far and few between. So it's not like every day I'm gonna have an epiphany about life or current events, but I figured it can't hurt to do this. You know, I'll throw in some B-roll of me running or whatever, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> so I must confess that one of the reasons I haven't done this before is that because, it's hard to explain, I'm afraid of failing at it, but yet I never set a goal. So, I don't know what exactly I'm afraid of, because I haven't set a goal to fail at. And so I'm just kind of stuck on this continuous loop of wanting to do stuff, not knowing what I'm wanting to do. And it, it, it's really been bothering me lately. I've been trying to look at things from a more stoic perspective, in that I know I'm not going to accomplish anything. If I don't do it, it's hard to explain. Like, there's an animal over there. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm not sure where I'm going with this. That's another reason I want to start doing this, is to get more my thoughts out more efficiently. Because I've spent a lot of time being quiet and listening. And if you ask any of my friends or my coworkers, I'm the quietest guy around, but I'm always always listening. I always know what's going on around me. 
I, I don't talk a lot because I don't know exactly how to express a lot of my thoughts in an efficient way that doesn't make me stutter or stumble over my words. Because I do that often, so sometimes I'll have a thought that I want to express. What is over there? Oh, it's just a squirrel. It's not a lot bigger. But I don't know how to say it, so I just don't. So I'm hoping that maybe this will help me to express my thoughts more efficiently. Maybe I'll start talking more. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have deeper thoughts. <laughs> I could be also.